the Bible, with its sweet wisdom, gently invites us to embrace the practice of prayer. This journey is not just a quiet gesture. It is a loving choice to nourish our faith and desire to remain dedicated to prayer. This leads us to a deeper understanding. We must lovingly choose to distance ourselves from influences and distractions that may weaken our spiritual connection and our prayer life. In the comforting words of Psalm 17 minus 6, we find a reflection of this truth. I call to you, my God, for I know you will hear me. Turn your ear to me and listen to my prayer. This passage fills us with loving confidence in God's attention and response to our prayers. Similarly, the amplified version of Romans 12 to 12 brings us an encouraging view. Maintain constant joy in hope through our faith in Christ. Be form and patient in adversity, dedicated to prayer, always seeking guidance, wisdom, and strength. These words motivate us to find joy and hope in our faith, to face challenges with courage, and to tirelessly seek divine wisdom through prayer. As followers of God's word, we are lovingly encouraged to be constant in our practice of prayer. The invitation is to pray at all times integrating prayer into our daily routine, praying persistently. This is not a simple request. It is an invitation to a life of dedication and spiritual loyalty. Let us fondly remember that even Jesus Christ, the Son of God, showed us the path of devotion with his constant prayers. If he, in his divine and human nature, sought communion with the Father through prayer, how much more should we, in our own spiritual journey, follow his blessed footsteps? At this moment, my heart is filled with tenderness thinking of those among us who wish to intensify their prayer life those who long to pray with more fervor and love. The first and most important step is to seek and welcome the Holy Spirit with an open heart. It is essential that we invite the Holy Spirit to fill our lives and be present in our moments of prayer. As taught to us in Romans 8 to 20 x 27, in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not always know how to pray properly. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with feelings that cannot be expressed in words, and he who knows the hearts knows what the Spirit desires, for the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. This is an invitation to a richer and deeper life of prayer. Blessed by the constant presence of the Holy Spirit, the involvement of the Holy Spirit in our prayer life is a vital aspect of the Christian faith. He is our support in weaknesses, the one who intercedes when we are lost for words, and gives us the strength to pray even when it seems hard. It's not about mere repeated words, but about seeking a more intimate connection and a true dialogue with the divine. As Matthew 6 to 7 guides us, we should avoid empty repetitions. 
preferring prayers that reflect the sincerity of our hearts. For God values genuineness more than the multitude of words. The challenge of praying without the presence and guidance of the Holy Spirit is that we might turn this sacred act into a formality. Without Him, our prayers may lose their meaning. On the other hand, when we open ourselves to the influence of the Holy Spirit, our prayers become alive and aligned with the divine will. Ephesians 6 to 17 18 inspires us to put on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, always praying under the Spirit's guidance. This passage motivates us to be always attentive and persevering in prayer, interceding for all. We are lovingly invited to make the Holy Spirit a constant companion in our lives and moments of prayer, following His direction in every word and thought. In prayer, we lovingly call upon the presence of God and the Holy Spirit. We ask that each person touched by our words be blessed that each heart seeking a deeper connection with God be fulfilled. As Luke 11 to 13 reminds us, if even we, imperfect, know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? In these moments of prayer, we desire our lives to be filled with the Holy Spirit, enriching our practice of prayer. May we be guided by the Holy Spirit, receiving His counsel and wisdom. May the Lord Jesus teach us to pray in the Spirit, making our prayers a pleasing fragrance to the heavens. Heavenly Father, in humility, we recognize our need and ask that the Holy Spirit powerfully act in our lives. We pray, Lord, that as we delve deeper into your sacred word, the Holy Spirit enlightens us with understanding and revelations, opening our spiritual ears and eyes to the hidden riches in your scriptures. Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that the Holy Spirit make the words of the Bible resonate in our hearts, dispelling doubts, skepticism, or anxieties. Almighty God, we know that only by the power of the Holy Spirit can we pray effectively for our families and homes overcoming spiritual barriers and hidden obstacles. We plead for greater spiritual discernment, that our eyes be opened to identify and dismantle the snares of evil, rebuking them in the glorious name of Jesus. Lord, with affection we cry out, I call to you, my God, for I know you will answer. Turn your ear to me and listen to my prayer. In our journey, we find constant joy in hope, strengthened by our faith in Christ, remaining patient and resolute, even in the face of challenges and difficulties, dedicated to continuous prayer seeking your guidance, wisdom, and strength. The Holy Spirit comes to our aid in our weaknesses, interceding for us with words that transcend language, aligning the desires of our hearts with the divine will. We put on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, 
which is the word of God. Praying continually in the spirit with loving prayer and supplication, we remain vigilant, persevering in intercession for all. We choose to set aside drunkenness and excesses, opting to be filled with the spirit. We express our worship and gratitude through psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and praising the Lord with all our hearts, always giving thanks to God the Father for all things. In the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ,